Welcome aboard the newest, shiniest, swankiest research vessel in the United States, the Sally Ride. Named after the first American woman in space, this 238-foot ship will take oceanic science into a new era of high-tech exploration. So let's take a tour, shall we? Sally Ride has four massive diesel generators that provide electricity to both power and propel the ship. But it's oddly quiet. That's thanks largely to specially designed propellers. It's the quietest ship that any of our crew have ever sailed on. And one of the reasons that's very important is that a lot of the things that we do in the ocean depend on being able to measure sound. That means scientists can better listen for life, and even earthquakes, in the deep. The ship is loaded with all sorts of sensors that will allow scientists to measure things like salinity and collect tiny plankton. They'll also precisely monitor fluctuations in ocean temperature. Consider that 90% of the heat associated with global warming is in the ocean. How that's distributed in the ocean and the impact on the ocean and its circulation and everything that lives in the ocean is one of the major questions of oceanography today. Because the Sally Bride has to work in exact locations in often rough seas, she'll actually adjust her position on her own. So we have the latest of what's called dynamic positioning. Uh, we can hold the ship to the same spot on the globe uh, with respect to the, the best GPS that's available. We can hold the ship in place on the sphere of the Earth to one meter. To retrieve their devices, scientists will deploy a huge crane. This thing is fancy. It can automatically let out and reel in line as the ship bobs in rough seas. Sadly though, the Sally Ride can't do anything about that seasickness of yours. So bring the Dramamine. <laughs> 